Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Dumfries and Galloway today. Today we're doing a little exploration route. The plan is to go to Clenoch Bothy, and um, we're just a little bit east of Loch Dune and that horrendous ride I did the other month still leaves me with scars. <laughs> but I was planning another route just over these hills and I noticed that on some of the newer OS maps there's uh, this Windy Rig wind farm has now turned up and has opened up some routes along the top and possibly allowing us to get from this side of the glen past the body and over the other side. So I wanted to come along here and just have a look to see if the tracks actually around the wind farm do join up with the body so I can do my bigger route I was planning. So not much in terms of distance today, we're going to mosey on up this Glen Ken um, towards Clenock Bothy. Um, I'm going to have a coffee up there probably, maybe a spot of lunch, and then mosey onto the hills and see what's up there. Should be nice, nice and gentle. I'll talk a bit more about the route when I get to the Bothy hopefully, but for now let's just mosey on through. <laughs> So basically all the way up to the body is just uphill, all the way. <laughs> the original, so the GPS route I've had to plot has me going out and back again so I get a nice downhill but I think the route I want to take goes up those hills there somehow so it's only going to get steeper. So far though this track's been lovely, absolutely lovely graded gravel, perfect for a gravel bike. My route is looking good so far, I just need to get up, I think we're going through that pass up there, I think that's our route. So I just need to get on and do it. Stop procrastinating, let's get up this hill. That's a steep climb. Just go straight up the side of the hill, why not? Oh, quite loose in places, a bit spongy. Definitely need a low gearing on there and some nice wide tyres, otherwise you're bouncing everywhere. Oh, good, I'm glad that's done. Looking promising then, there's the wind farms up on the hill line there that I'm hopefully going to follow on the way back. There's also some sort of new track over there now as well, going down the other side of this Glen Ken. But I think we go straight across to those that far set of hills and then we turn left and head off towards those wind turbines over there. 
and that's where Clenlock Bolly is. Oh dear, it's cold today. All my batteries are failing me, all my technology is failing me actually. My computer that I render stuff on, that's failed me. I've had to get a new one. My GoPro batteries are failing me. I have to get new ones of those. But I'll tell you what has revolutionized my life. A bit of insider knowledge here on how I film. The Jaws by GoPro, absolutely fantastic. Just clip them onto something, take a shot as I ride by, unclip them again. Clip them onto the handlebars, grab it off if I want to do a panoramic as I'm cycling. Brilliant. No longer do I have to keep putting it on my head and then giving massive neck ache as I do my rides. Big fan of these things. Speaking of which, I'm now actually going to put it on my head and not use these things. So <laughs> after just bigging them up, I'm actually going to do a headshot down this hill, I think. It looks fun, let's do it. That was quick. That's the body down there, I think. That's way quicker than I thought it would be to get here. So the actual route I've got planned is once I've been at the body, is to go up the side there, round the edge of the bowl and back up here. And I'm hoping that there's some sort of track up the side there. Otherwise I've got to do a bit of hiker biking. But cool, we made it. It's nice up here. I really like this bit. Right, let's descend to the body and get a coffee. So here we are then at the body. Made a nice coffee with my jet boil. And now I'm just warming up in here. Pretty basic in here. You can probably see my breath. Still pretty chilly, there's no heating in here. Space for four people maybe. Pretty good. Nice to be sheltered from that wind. It got a bit windy actually. So this body actually was, a, was like one of the most remote sheep farms I think in Southern Scotland. It was abandoned before World War II and then rebuilt in the mid 1970s by the MBA as a body. So thank you MBA again for an awesome body. I'm up at the, at the body, I've gone up the track. Now the original plan was to just loop around and go back down again, but I was actually 
planning another route from the north side of the hills and I was thinking, oh, maybe if I can get the body in, that's a good halfway point. I wonder if the tracks actually join up. And according to Komoot, OpenStreetMap, Strava, uh, the usual OS maps that I could find, there was nothing. But on the latest OS map, 2022 ones from, um, I think, where was it? I think it was walkingclub.org, which I don't usually go on, but I found a map there, had the latest OS maps and it had this wind farm on there and it had a track that goes right around from the top of the hills right back down to the car park where I started. So I thought, wait, well, hey, let's go and have a look. Let's try that out. So actually I'll show you on the map where we are and what the plan is. So this is the OS map. We're up here at Clenoch. The original plan was to cycle around the track off the map here, come back down and then come back down this track here. But what you can see as I've highlighted in yellow is this new track that goes over the hills. And this one goes all the way down and then joins up back at the bottom. So instead of going up around the, 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 like the little um, glen here, which I was planning to do, this one here in the inside, I'm actually just gonna go around the hills around the side of it. Hopefully that'll work. Um, if not, then I would, I guess I'll do a bit of hiker biking, find there's nothing there, and then turn around and do the original route. Right, time to leave the cozy embrace of the bobby and head on back up the hill. That's our hill, all the way up there. Oh boy. <sighs> nope, not cycling up this. Way too steep for my gears <laughs> and this bike. <laughs> but <laughs> I could barely push up here. Oh, again, it's me. That's a that's a steep climb. Oh, but look, there's the critical track I was looking for up to that turbine that's on the new OS maps but not on Komoot good there's no way I'm cycling up that either though <laughs> look at that steepness on that Righty, so we're leaving the nice little loop with all the little stalker huts. Great little places for mounting cameras to getting shots on. Enjoyed using that. Now then, this is the track. Shall we have a little look at it? <laughs> I'm not cycling up this. This is insanely steep. I don't even know what vehicle could drive up this. It's crazy. But it's a track nonetheless. I'm not wading up through heather and marshland, which is what I was worried it might be doing. So that's good. Let's keep plodding up. Okay, we're up. 
traipsed our way up that hill. We're now on the exposed hilltops. Funnily enough, they build the wind turbines where it's windy. Who knew? <laughs> okay, we'll try and see if we can get Frank in the air. I don't know if he'll be able to. It's a bit windy and there's some cloud coming in. So I think we better get moving before the cloud envelops us and we run out of views. Let's go. Just consulting the old paper map there for the best way out of this wind farm. I think my route, I'm going to go down that way, loop around the end of the head and then go that way, off into the wind. You can also go that way, I think, up and over and round, but I want to get the views down the glen. So let's go this way. Oh, this view is just perfect. Look at that. So down there actually was where my original route was going through those trees into that little lock and down there. But instead we're going to get to enjoy that view and that track all the way along the edge there will take us all the way home. Outstanding. I'm so chuffed. This is lovely. Bit of a climb to do by the looks of it. A few ups and downs, but this, if the track stays like this, it's going to be awesome gravel. Thank you, wind farm. So Windy Rig Wind Farm, it was windy, lived up to its name. I just realized actually there's a whole load of like, you're not allowed up there and stuff. So I'm not sure whether that was just for construction or whether that's in general, but it didn't seem to be any construction going on. So I maintain it's okay, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that now. No, I've seen that sign. Anyway, it was good. It's a good route. If it does remain open, I highly recommend you come blasting down there. That's a great track to come down, super fun. Um, I think I've, I've got it sussed out for the route I want to do later on. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but at least I know that there's options available now. So it was worth the visit. So I think that's about it. That's all I've really got to say and show for this route, I think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed my coffee halfway around. If you want to buy me a coffee, follow the links below. Give it a little donation. Thank you very much. 
and I will see you on the next ride if I don't kill myself on Zwift but in the meantime I've been doing quite a lot of that tour to Zwift recently so I'm feeling a bit tired in the old legs but maybe I'll take a little relax now and just calm it down but lovely absolutely enjoyed that I will leave you with a few clips of me just going down the last few bits of the gravel track and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching everyone